Oh, this is a white one. Holy mackerel. Yeah. So, let me show you guys how I've been catching some of my fish at Bartlett Lake. It's been super, super tough. And you can see how white this thing is that he came out of 18, 19 feet of water. Actually, 20. So, let me let him go. It's just a nice, just a fat one, nice pregnant fat one. Let me let him go down. Make sure he goes down. So, I haven't showed this rig yet. It splashed me right in the face. This is the Nico rig. It's a really, really good finesse bait for catching fish right now. And uh, what better worm to use, which is Gary's favorite, the new money shot, all right? So I've stuck a, a head weight, which is more of a nail. You can use any kind you want. You can see how it just kind of goes in there like this. And then you just stick it right in there. And that's gonna be your weight. The hook, and I'll show you how to rig this. I hook it so that uh, the hook is going this way. I'll show you as soon as I do. Yep, uh-huh, there we go. So you can see that when the fish comes up and grabs the, the bait by the back, he's gonna get hooked, all right? I'm only using the number one. I put a little bit of yellow on the tail and I'm fishing off a, off, off a steep drop off. All right, guys, so most of the fish today are gonna be in 12 to 18 feet of water. And you can see that I'm fishing a, a steep drop off and I am using a bait caster, but it's real light, 10 pound test. It's a little Johnny Morris, a little Johnny Morris reel and a very light Phoenix rod, okay? So you just have to just kind of let that go down towards the bottom, let it sink. It's a slow fishing. Fishing is so tough today. I mean, it is really tough. It's been tough since January 1. So count your blessings if you come up here and you catch three, two, three or four fish in a day, you know. Some days I could catch 10 or 11. Some days I can only catch three or four, you know. So, so I'm just fishing some of this stuff like this. I'm gonna throw it out right by the right by the shore. And if I don't catch any more on this, we're gonna to go to drop shot and try that. Because it is slow. So I'm just gonna pull that along real slow. Let that go down. Look at the grab. So I'm in I'm in 20, 25 feet of water. There's fish on the bottom. You'll see fish on the bottom everywhere you go. They're all over the whole lake. So, all right, let's make one more cast. There's, oh, got some weeds. All right, one more cast. All right, so as I'm working this, I'm just kind of bouncing it on, and you'll feel these rocks down here, you know, bouncing along, bouncing along. Let me tell you what you won't feel. You will not feel the bite, 99% of the bites you won't feel. You need to have a really good rod, and most of my clients don't have that, 80%. If you want, it. there's one right there. So they grab onto it and just swim with it. That's all they do. The only thing is, with these worms, they got that garlic in there, they hang on to the thing. He's not big, but, boy, I'll tell you, they are cold. They're like popsicles, they're freezing cold. They're so, ice cold the water temperature just turned 50 degrees folks it was 49 this morning now that one was shallow the other one was real white but this one's got a really pretty color green so so the money shot is the worm that has the squiggly tail the ribbon tail on it okay the curly tail is just a short tail that just has a little curly tail and then we have the straight tail these are our new new worms. We just came out. This happens to be Gary's favorite. It's a watermelon red. So, and I just stained the tail. So, let's try it again. So, like I said, you'll see a lot of fish in that 10, 12, 15 feet of water, which is fine, you know. 
you're probably wondering how I'm casting a 1 16th ounce weight on a bait caster. Well, after 50 years, 55 years of bait casting, you get used to it. So, so I caught that off that little point right there. So let's let that get down. Let it sink. It's a slow process. If you want it to sink more, you can use a bigger weight. Okay, guys, this is important. I, I swear by this stuff right here, dip it. You know, I mean, you could buy this at uh, Copper State Tackle. You can buy it at Phoenix Fishing. Bass Pro has it. Um, the water is coming up, folks. It's up to 58, 59%. We got about six, eight feet of water on here. The second ramp is open. They just opened it. And all I do is just dip the tail and then I put it in the water and then that sets it, sets it on there. So this is another Gary's favorite, okay? So I'm just testing those out because I like watermelon red and I usually catch fish on those. So I switched to drop shot, by the way. We're gonna try that for a little bit. So again, I have a very limber rod, Phoenix. It's a feather light, 6'9". You also can buy this at Phoenix Fishing and Copper State. You tell them I sent you, they'll knock off on a discount. Everything you buy, including this rod and reel. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna, right now the fish are on the bottom, so I have a very short leader. Look at, only about 10 inches, eight to 10 inches. So if I use too big a leader, I can't catch the fish because they're laying on the bottom. All right, let me get you back up this way. Let that sink. We're just gonna let this very slow. You don't want to be jiggling it too much. You just want to throw it out and just kind of pull it a little bit and let it drop off the edges. So you just you're just bouncing this off these steep drop-offs here, you know, and let it go down. So every time you pull it, it's gonna drop six inches to a foot. So I'm down to about 18. I just saw some fish right there. So I, I'm just jiggling it lightly like this. Just jiggle it, you know. And there's a swimmer. He, no bite at all, guys. He just grabbed it and started swimming with it. Now he's coming out of 23 feet of water. Come on. I like to riz, uh, reel him up and slow. That's a better one. Let me just him in here. Well, that was a nice release. <laughs> well, I didn't have to get him in the boat, huh? So, at least we had one on. All right, let's fix our worm again. I'm Texas rigging this, guys. So, I'm going to put that up on the keeper part. Put the hook in there. And then I'm going to cast back off this little point here. That's where we caught a few fish. So, I'm going to go way up there. Pick over the bail. I like to hold my rod about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock up. Some guys like to hold it way down. If I get a bite, I like to just jerk it up right away. If you get a bite in the summer time, in winter time like this, you need to set the hook. And I mean right now, don't wait for the second bite because he's spitting it out. You won't get it, okay, unless he's already swallowed it. That's the only time to, you'll get him. So you get a bite, bite him back. Get used to that. You don't get very many bites in the winter time. In the summertime, you could catch a lot of fish and you'll get a lot of bites. Right now, you get a bite, you need to just jerk it, okay? So. Just let that work down. Or there's, you'll find when you guys come out here, you'll find fish in 10, 12 feet of water, or you'll find them in 18, 25, 30, 32. You gotta experiment, find out what depth of the ones biting. You know, oh, I had a bite. Nope. Oh, he was on for a second. Anyway, I think you guys get the gist of this. Uh, that was the only bite I had. But uh, just uh, 5150, the uh, curly, the uh, ribbon tails, money shot, Gary's favorite. We have uh, about three or four worms out that are three worms, two or three worms that are already at all of our shops, Phoenix Fishing, Copper State, Liar's Corner, 
So we've covered most of the valley. So go ahead, pick them up. Um, if you see me in the parking lot, I have some in my truck. So thanks for watching my shows. You've been watching Gary Sim Fishing Arizona.